From Father Solanus handing out sandwiches at the monastery door, the Capuchin Soup Kitchen has grown into a comprehensive outreach that serves more than 700,000 meals a year. The task for the staff and volunteers at the Capuchin Soup Kitchen is at once simple and difficult, bringing life to those who struggle as they walk with the poor and nurture their spirits. This is the Connor Soup Kitchen. This is the busiest soup kitchen we have. The vast majority of the people here are working poor. About 25% of all the meals that we provide are provided to children. At some point, the parents have to make a decision to pay for heating or electricity or uh, clothing or buy food. If we have programs for people, we are giving them an opportunity to go somewhere else, to do something other than come here for a meal. The meals will always be provided. But I don't want to see us providing meals for two and three generations of family. Uh, hi, I'm George Gehrig. I'm the operations manager for the Capuchin Soup Kitchen, and I maintain and work at the Capuchin Services Center. This is the facility that we utilize to distribute non-prepared meals. So we're doing pantry foods here, we're doing clothing, and we're doing furniture and appliances for families that are coming out of shelters, families that are coming out of fires and other types of natural disasters. They come in here, they get to go shopping, the clothes are taken off the hangers, they're folded, they're put in a bag, and they're able to push that shopping cart right out to their car just like they would if they were shopping at a store. Another way the Capuchin Soup Kitchen confronts the problem of poverty is to reach out to men struggling with drug and alcohol abuse. Since the 1960s, the Jefferson House a residential extended 8 to 12 month live-in recovery program gives men a chance to reclaim their dignity after years of destructive behavior. I'm Don Benner, I'm the program coordinator here. My job basically is to take care of the guys. Uh, dental appointments, work assignments, doctors, any of their needs, I try to make sure they have it all. Christ gave us an understanding of divine justice that is based on divine mercy the heartbeat of the Incarnation is generosity and love. In Christ, we see a God so generous he throws everything away out of love. We live in a society that measures your success and your usefulness and your value by what you have and what you do. And, uh, and, and I think that that's where the folks here have reminded me that it's the value of a life is not about what you have or what you do what degrees you have, or any of that stuff. The bottom line is what you do with what you have as far as your love. Some people ask, just what is the Capuchin Soup Kitchen? We do more than serve meals here. This place is really a, a place of friendship. It's a place where people get connected with each other. It's a place where people learn to care for each other. You know, it's one thing to serve meals. It's another thing to serve friends. And that's what we try to do. In the course of coming here, everybody sort of becomes a friend to each other. And that's what life is all about, isn't it? It doesn't matter what you got. You don't have friends, you don't have much. One thing's for sure, if you don't practice love, you'll lose it. And where love is, there is God.